Hey guys, we're back on 76 today and we are doing more of these camp showcases. I'm here with Seaver. First, let me tell you real quick that the showcases are open all of April. If you guys want to message me on Xbox, M-I-Z, Tracy with an E, if you have an awesome camp you want to submit, let me know. I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. In the meantime, let's get started here with Seaver. All right, so this is Seaver's camp. Let's go down and actually get a good view of it here. Okay, because I'm really bad at flying off stuff, I ended up coming down to the front instead. <laughs> So here's Seaver's camp. <laughs> Very awesome. I'm not great at parkour, so it was cool to get up to the top there and get a view, but now we're going to stay down here on the floor where it's safe and happy. <laughs> so you were saying that this tree was kind of where you were centering the build off of? It's a really awesome looking tree. Yeah, I originally went to, went to go search for good place to put a camp down with a good view and I stumbled across uh, this tree and so yeah, I went to see if I could put a camp down and build around we are it. And I did. way up here on oh, the middle of nowhere there's a very beautiful view up here and I am just short on a gold resource extractor over here to the right Oh, that stinks. Oh, well. Yeah. This looks great. All the different decorations. So you're trying to do, like, all the different room styles with the Atomic Shop items? Yeah. I still want to get the, the vault Tech bundle that just came out. Yeah. I think That'll it's be like nice. Twelve hundred atoms. Yeah, that's a bit. Pricey. I mostly just want want it for the floor and the, the stash box. And we covered how to do these curved walls in the first camp showcase. It was originally found out by a guy named Jug, and it looks so good. I can never get it to line up right. Awesome. Well, thank you for showing this off. No problem. Sweet. Well, we will move on with the video then. All right, here's Riven, Matt. Hello. <laughs> so this is like your little front deck porch? Yep, this is my little front porch. And um, I have plans to add the um, vending machine out here, out front, whenever they do that. I can't DLC. wait for that. Yeah, that's going to be really nice. So but, yeah. I love how you've done different buildings in here, like mixed in with the rocks and mixed in with the trees. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of stuff here. It's kind of jumbled up, but it's pretty functional um, for how I play. But here's my Brahmin. This is La Brahmin James. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and uh, yes, the garage. So, well, now the Brahmin's going to go in there, but... <laughs> Um, I built this garage with no foundations here on this side, um, so I could have a garden in here and some water purifiers so it would all be protected, because I'm weird like that. It's the apocalypse, so I want Yeah, you gotta protect protected. your most important stuff, for sure. <laughs> so, you were telling me you put down this um, foundation here, and then you put up a wall, and then you put up the floors, and then once you put up another floor, you can hang a wall off of that floor. Yes, Let's so you have to put a set of stairs um, up to the top. So off the foundation, you put a set of stairs, and then you will put an upper floor all the way around. And then off of the upper floor, you can put walls down. Oh, interesting. And then you can just backtrack and delete all the floors. Okay, so, so you need to have the, the, the stairs, floating. not just putting up a wall yes. on the side. Okay. Yes, yeah, so eventually you'll backtrack and then delete the stairs as well, so then you can just replace everything with just regular ceiling. Nice. Yeah, it worked out and well. That allows, nice. yeah, that allows the floors to be kind of floating, which you can see when you shut the garage door that um, you can see it kind of floating at the bottom. Yeah, it works out. It's though. got a little gap there at the bottom, but it worked out really nice. But that's right. my little uh, brewing room and all that. So um, this is probably my favorite part of the house. I wanted um, 
this tree limb to be the only way into the upper floor of the house. Oop, I totally and fell on that took, spot that you're talking it, about. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there is a little dip there, but. Yeah, I'm um, gonna show off your little uh, secret here, if you don't mind. This little pot of oh, plant here fine. to get, keep you from getting stuck in this little spot. It was nice, I didn't even notice yes, that. Yes, I tried. There. I tried everything, rugs and everything to put in there, and yeah, you would get stuck and have to fast travel out. There was no way to get out of it, so that little plant helped for some reason. Awesome. And this is my little workshop. I left nice. windows here. I chose to do the windows just because of the lighting here in the mire. It looks really, yeah, I like it. Uh, looks really pretty. Allows it's a lot nice of light view. in. But did a wraparound porch and. Yeah, it kind of glitched through that little level. tree there. <laughs> I like <laughs> it. It's like mixed times. in with the trees and rocks. I like it a lot. Yeah. And here's my power armor station. And then you get a little view of the waterfall over here. To the so left. here is what people might recognize. My favorite part about this area is this waterfall. Oh, we're here on the map, by yes. the way, by the crash plane. There's a person. So if we go past LeBron and James, if he'll hmm. let us through. Uh, it's kind of behind the house here, so we built this off just kind of floating down here. Nice. Also built in with a tree. And again, it, yeah, it, it worked out really nicely, um, just how everything placed out. But this is my little bar, and I got a cooking station, little fireplace. It even has the cliff directly behind it, so it kind of looks like it's stone behind there, which nice. is pretty neat. That does look good. And then... Just a little sleeping area over here. Nothing special. You know, this there's a lot of stuff here, so I was running out of budget <laughs> for sure. I bet. Um, then off of the room here, I got a large um, water purifier. And then just kind of as a little joke, I did a small bathroom and With a working, uh, working shower. shower. <laughs> That's a West Virginia shower right there. A nice. waterfall. <laughs> Awesome. So, yeah, that's the that's the build. Well, thank um, you for showing us off. I can, yeah, no problem. Yeah, just happy to have you here. So we're checking out some neighboring camps here. We're gonna check out Dammit's first. Your awesome covered bridge. Okay. So you got some crops out here, right? But the building itself is just beautiful. Just gonna go on in. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. What the hell? There is a piece of meat floating in the air here. Do you see this? Is this trap meat? Oh my god, is somebody <laughs> This isn't totally the Wait trap a meat. No, uh <laughs> So I saw a piece of meat outside. But uh yeah, for me it is right here. Weird. Um, for me, it's floating yeah. in your living room. You'll have to see it on the video. It's pretty cool. It's weird, but cool. <laughs> I promise that's not usually there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Awesome. And then I like this blue light you've got underneath this floor here. It kind of shines up in the bedroom. Okay, so here is that covered bridge. And there's also a little patio up here at the bar. Nice. I think I need to get this other beer sign. A look at the bridge. Oh, here we are on the map, by the way. I've done a video here before. You guys might recognize the area. I love what you've done with the bridge. Brother Aquarius helped you yeah, make the yeah. decorations in the bridge. Yes. Gotcha. Yep, yep. And we've got even more out here. Workshop porched area. Another cute little bridge, too. You get a view from this side, too. Awesome. Yeah, this looks great. Thank you for showing it off. Of course. Sweet. So, now we're going to go over just across the way. Okay, so we're just a little ways from McDammit's camp. And then 
Here is yours. <laughs> and real quick before we go in, can you show off the whole like open thing, the open sign thing? That's really oh, cool. Yeah. So when he closes up his shop for the night, his open shut sign and little stoplight here turn off. Like that's just great. Now they're closed. We're gonna be open for business right now, though. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I like how you put the welcome home sign and the gas sign. I didn't even notice that till now. Thank you. I actually have to give credit to McDammit on that one. That was a little bit of his idea. I like how you guys both worked together to make both your camps. You guys did a good job. Oh, yeah. So now this little, you may recognize this little loft here, but instead there was a Santa here on another one of my camp videos. He loved the way that guy did the layout so much. So thank you again. And that guy it does look nice. And I, I, I do want to give credit to that player, uh, and I'm sorry I don't remember his name. Oh, I'll I'll put it on the bottom. It's cool. Yeah, a little workshop on this side, just a little workshop, nice. and try to use the power armor frame as your entry point. Yeah, I noticed that. That's cool. And then there's one here too, like well, not power armor frame, but another entryway. Yeah. That's nice. A full kitchen in the back. So. Oh, see, I recognize this too, with the bookshelves yeah, and the same, fireplace. Yeah, this was also from the same player. Yeah. And then back here, I got a little bathroom. Nice, with the camp in the tub. Yep. That's practical. But anyway, come on. Yeah. Here. A little bit of back patio. I think I need to splurge and buy this purifier. It looks really nice. Yeah, I love it. It's locked for employees only, which apparently thing. someone's been using it lately. <laughs> it might be me. I don't know if you noticed, but like whenever I, I walk past a purifier, I like immediately grab stuff out of it without even thinking about it. I'm always stealing people's water. That's fine. <laughs> you can have all. You can have all the water. I've got plenty. <laughs> yeah, I think I have too much on me, but yeah, I was checking out this bar here first, real quick. I like the um, oh, yeah. different, like, roof things you got going on here to make it its own kind of unique shape. Okay, the stairs. Oh. There's a lot of tinkering around with that. Oh my god, you bought this floor. Oh yeah. This was a three-day sale. Yeah, I passed up. I could not. I couldn't do it. Oh, man. <laughs> I love it. It's so tacky. Awesome. Yeah. I'll come around and check out the front one more time. Sweet. Well, I love that you guys work together to build your camps. You both did a great job on your camps. Excited to show these, so thank, thank you. you. Okay, so that's it for this video. Again, my camp submissions are open all of April. Go ahead and hit me up on Xbox, Miss Tracy, M I Z, Tracy with an E. Or you can message me on my Facebook. I'll put a link in the description. Let me know if you like these camp showcases and I hope you get a chance to subscribe and we'll see you guys later.